Honolulu Marathon history made today at the 45th running of the popular race. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. Record slash for both men's and women's divisions and done so by some familiar names. Island Sports Director Brandy Higa was there at the finish line as those elite runners crossed. New year, new records. Lawrence Sharona of Kenya defended his title as top male runner at the Honolulu Marathon and bettered a course record he set last year, this year crossing the line in two hours, eight minutes and 26 seconds. To me, it will be a great achievement for improving time. Uh, every race that I'm going to run, uh, it will give me motivation in my career. And we saw a repeat winner in the women's draw as well. Bridget Cosguy was back on top, but shattered the record set back in 2006. She finished on Sunday at 2.22.14. That's five whole minutes better than the previous record. Because last year, I, I did not know the route, but this time, I, I say I make sure that I will win again. Second, I will win again. I will run course record because last year, I did not know the course, but this, this year, I, I know the course well. In the wheelchair division, Masazumi Sojima of Japan made it five straight wins, finished this year at 139.24. James Jones of Honolulu was the first local male to cross the line at 248.24, while Paulina Carlson repeated as best female from the 808. She finished at two hours, 53 minutes, and 15 seconds. Brandy Higa, Island Sports. And to the NFL. St. Louis grad Marcus Mariota and Tennessee entered the game leading the AFC South, but the Cardinals nearly shut down the Titans' offense today. In Glendale, second quarter, the handoff went to Derrick Henry for the short scamper to get the Titans up 7-0. But Mariota struggled with his passing today. He threw two interceptions, including this one in the third, to Tremont Williams. Phil Dawson's leg took over from here. He nailed four for all Arizona scores. Card topped the Titans 12-7. The Jacksonville win over Seattle today. They steal the lead in the AFC South. At the Coliseum, Eagles and Rams in a back and forth offensive battle. This Carson Wentz pass was the second to Trey Burton to put Philly up 21-7 in the second. Rams trailed in the third until a block punt recovered by Blake Countess to put home team ahead 28-24. Wentz on first and goal, took this one into the end zone, later taken away by a flag, but he's hurt on the play and does not return. Eagles down 35-34 in the fourth, stripped Jared Goff, which led to the go-ahead field goal, 37-35. A second left on the clock, LA needed a miracle. Philly scored instead, 43-35 Eagles the final, clinching the NFC East title. Carolina hosted Minnesota, not afraid of the streaking Vikings. First possession, three plays, Jonathan Stewart went 60 yards to make it 7-0 Panthers. Carolina up 24-13 in the fourth. Case Keenum got it out to Adam Thielen, 52 yards plus a two-point conversion good. Vikings still trail 24-21, but this one-yard punch from Stewart again is the game winner. 31-24 Panthers, the final, snapping Minnesota's eight-game win streak and stopping them from clinching the NFC North division title. Rainbow Warriors basketball team extended its win streak to two, tallying its largest margin of victory this season, 82-64 against UH Hilo last night. But head coach Iran Ganat still sees room for improvement. I thought we did a good job in the stretch to extend the lead, but then we were out of sorts, we didn't defend, and that's when you separate, when you defend, we, as we start to make shots. Hawaii improves to 6-2 overall. Guys are back on the court to host Utah Valley on Sunday, December 17th. Tip-off at 5 p.m. Great stuff from the NFL, but those marathon runners, those impressive. Those runners, how do they crush that? Oh, yes. amazing. And speaking of the marathon, while some took on 26.2 miles today with running goals,